let's see what we are going to cook today. Oh my gosh. Speak Chef Brad, Hello, what are hi. you doing here? How are you? The door was open, so I just couldn't help myself but just oh walk right in. I know, God. it's not a good thing to do in 2022, pero dale, we're trying. I'm so confused. I know, uh, pero I do <laughs> see something great in here. Hello, hi, pescadito. We pescadito. Have, we have fish, so I have an idea. What's your idea? Why don't I make you a nice little Cuban ceviche, pero throw in like a little like Japanese fusion. How's that? Oh, that's an what amazing idea. He likes it too. Dale. Oh, oh, oh vamos. <laughs> Knives. Oh I, I'm my so, gosh. I love Let knives. Let me tell you, knives, knives, knives. Mira, these are my favorite. Mira, pardon the salt, pardon the random stuff in here. Uh, Pero mira, these are my favorite knives from this little place called New West Knife Works. Truly one of the oh most my gosh, that's mom so and pop cool. knife shop ever in Napa Valley. And it it is just gorgeous. The the craftsmanship, the way they're like they're Invincible. Oh yeah, it's not safe to do that, but oh yeah. And this one is for like a filet, yeah. fish. Yeah, I I actually got this one a little bit like custom because it was actually like about this long, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm like a little short, so like I kind of <laughs> need like a little knife, you know? It's like hey, whatever. But so funny. Um, truly, they shortened it down, and this just makes it easier, so you could hold it like this to butcher cows and like cows? meats. Cows. Yeah, meats and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> goats and different stuff like that but wow. um it's truly a lot of fun and being cuban oh yeah i know it sounds like santeria but like it's not you know it's like <laughs> hey, it's just cubans and cows and napa that's all you have is cows and goats oh so <laughs> ya tu sabe pero truly and also just a fun fact everyone get a deli knife everyone get a deli knife because you can cut everything with it meat bread, tomatoes bread everything wow like literally whatever you want what what you want to hear is just the little tip of the knife scratching the bones. Oh yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. Oh. Pero, 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 pero you'll feel, Oh. you hear that, you oh, know? Oh, so you wanna so, hear that. So, so you kinda do, because that just means that you're going very close Ooh. to the Interesting. fish, you know? And then you just keep going. Wow. You know what? What? Let me show you a cool trick I learned in culinary school. <laughs> Dale, baby! Oh my god. What did I tell you? I, it's like, hello, Magic. hi. Once you go to Napa, the cows talk and you can fillet fish by just saying, Dale, baby. Oh, wow. Try Look it every that. day. Don't try it at home, though. <laughs> try it at your friends. <laughs> no, that here we go. So it. for me, you just get nice big chunks, right? And if there's a little sinew, it's not that bad. No, you're like, oh yeah, the poor man's butchering this fish. He's not. <laughs> this mm. fish is like low key, a little bit coarse to cut. It was fresh caught. And that's a good thing about living in Miami, right? In Florida, because you can get fresh lobster, fresh fish, all kinds of stuff, right? Stone crabs. Oh my gosh. Stone crabs. Uh, when is stone no, crab season again? Literally, I feel like in September, it truly picks up and that's, mm -hmm. that's when it starts. My truly, favorite. I cannot tell you where, it. when it ends. But that's the one thing where moving to California, you miss stone crabs mm -hmm. more than anything in the world. I love stone crabs. And if you haven't had them, come to Miami, Joe's Stone Crabs. Definitely need to go. Yes. I eat. But it's like, to me, it's one of the freshest, sweetest meats in the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's like, it is a... I agree. It's like a bougie... It's like a bougie lobster. You know, <laughs> bougie like, lobster. <laughs> it's like a bougie, bougie lobster, but like a little bougie. Uh -huh. You know? Now it's just about like adding flavor. No, it's all just um, you. To me, there's five five things. Wait, let me count it with my fingers. I mean, I still need my, my like fingers to count these. <laughs> salt, fat, acid, heat. Four, not five. Four salt. things salt, fat, acid, heat. You need that in your dish. All those For four the things. Ceviche. No, 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 just in general. In general? But, but, but like this is a place where you could really salt. You use the acidity and the saltiness of either the togarashi and the salt. Uh -huh. um, fat, you use the fat of either truffle oil, Spanish oil, whichever one you want, and, uh -huh. and the avocado. Salt, fat, acid, which is the yuzu, mixed with uh, some of the acidity of the chilies, and then the heat, which is the chilies and the togarashi. So it's like you mix all that together and it makes this 
umami combination yeah. that it's like once once you have those four together you understand what it tastes like the best thing it's like good food doesn't have to be like oh mira preparado make it look so beautiful mira <laughs> like oh yeah we did our training we did our stuff mira we're just chill cooking people so don't come at us with oh yeah mira he has like 50 pounds of fish there we're gonna eat all of, of it course. like do not you know, worry we're gonna you know, eat know, that like, we're gonna make a fish fingers oh all kinds God, of don't things don't even get me started with we're the not fish gonna fingers. waste that Easy way to get avocados out to just make them super cute. Spoon them out. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Easy peasy. Aquí no vamos. So we do see that the back is a little bad. So I'm just gonna take this right here, right? And this is a fun little trick that you could do at home just with any avocado and just like a knife. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go forward and the knife is just gonna go like this. Oh, I want to learn that. Right? And you just go one, two. Three, four, wow. five, Chef six, Brad, that's seven. Cool. I know, but sometimes it breaks because they're fat like that. But fat that, not this. Why? Why I love this ceviche so much? Because the flavor you get, and it's like, not saying like, oh yeah, I'm trying to copy a flavor, but for mm -hmm. people at home who don't have smell a vision and like taste a vision, mm -hmm. um, the best way to describe this taste is Nobu's. Hamachi jalapeno. Really? You know, just like very like nice lemony, but it's not lemon, it's like the yuzu and it just balances all the flavors together mm -hmm. and just makes everything very um, like unison because of the salt, fat, acid, and the heat. Oh, look at that. Pinky, pinky, pinky. And I know what you all are thinking. Why are you doing this backwards? Porque <laughs> to me, mm. When you do it like this, you know that, oh yeah, I'm building up all my flavors on the top. And the only thing I have to do after this is just pour my ceviche juice in and it cooks everything mm -hmm. right away. Oh, I see. So after you put these peppers, one of my favorite things to put on, it's this little thing called togarashi, which mm -hmm. togarashi to me, it's like, it's like paprika and it's just like Asian, Chili what powder. is it called? Togarashi? To togarashi. Togarashi? Like, like toga and toga? then rashi. For me, what I do, well, I normally put this on at the end, but like I notice that sometimes when you put it on before, you know, you just a little por ahí, a little por ahí. This is how I do this because I like to keep it simple and you already have enough flavor going on here. Mm -hmm. So when you mix this up, what I do is you take some salt. One, two, three. This is like the secret weapon. Yuzu extract, but you gotta get the right one. And I'm not gonna let you taste it until you try this, because when you taste it, you're gonna be like, this is the secret. Wait, where you get, do you, where do you get that you, in? You go to market? Korean market. So that's, mm -hmm. so that's a fun thing in Miami, which I'm gonna try to get all my friends to do and just everyone to do. Whenever you want good, cheap, amazing products, go to a Korean market because they have meat, they have just everything in general. Like this, you will only find in a Korean market. It's just yuzu extract in like Publix, I doubt they'll sell it, or like maybe in your supermarkets, you'll you'll see a diluted version of this in like a small bottle. Don't waste your money on that. So that's lemon? Yuzu lemon, yeah. It's like a oh. lemon, it's, it's like a Japanese lemon. I see. Yeah, so it's like a mix of like a lime lemon. It's, it's hard to describe, but the best way to describe it Tastes like Nobu. One of the things you do when you get yuzu extract, the moment, well, well, like I already did it, but you get it and you get like a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. You just throw it in there. Mm. Helps it preserve it a little bit longer and then adds a little bit more robust flavor when you add it to everything. I just truly mm. just drop it over. Wow. Ooh, make, make sure everything gets it there. Mm -hmm. And then for me, Listen, just as a chef, truffle anything is a cop out. But, acá adentro, oh my god. Really? Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. I love truffle oil. It's like, oh my god. Even I love my truffle french oil. fries. Oh my god. I don't know. On anything, it's like just having the a bit of acidity, the salt, fat, acid, and the heat. That's interesting. I don't think I ever tried ceviche with truffle oil. I think it's, right? I think it's my first the first time. Really? My, oh my, my God, I, 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 I hope it blows your mind. Porque. Yeah. And then just to add a little more zing, you just throw a little bit mas on top. And wow. literally, truly, you're done. <laughs> wow. How easy, nice, simple, finito. Nothing too crazy. 
So how long are you gonna leave this uh, to cook? Literally, it is cooking as we speak. We could put it in the fridge for like one minute, two minutes. Really? I eat just, it is just ready to, to eat after cooking. Oh, it is, it is ready to eat. And now... It's it, time to try. Let's get let's it. Let's oh, get it. Dale, baby. Oh my Yay. God, which one are you going for? I'm go gonna for go it, this go one. for it. Mira, you know what? How do you do this? Like We're gonna, this? I see, and you just pop it in. Oh my God. Mm. Great job. And it's healthy. Love it. Yes, and it's healthy. And cheers. Cheers.